The Weather Guard Truck Race open up spring racing weekend here at Bristol Motor Speedway. The Cup Series Food City 500 will shut it down on Sunday afternoon. Here live with Day One Action is News Channel 11 Sports, Nick Dugan, who joins me live from the track. Nick? Hey, Kenny, that's right. Well, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series got the first swing at opening up the spring race weekend here, returning to the concrete at Bristol Motor Speedway. Just the fourth truck race on the young season. A picture-perfect night for racing as Stefan Parsons leads the Abingdon-based Henderson Motorsports Chevy onto the track, Christian Eckes leading the field to green. But they weren't racing for very long. The night's first caution came just five laps in as Matt Mills goes awry on the front stretch. He would go a few laps down. Lap 45, Keith McGee goes sliding into the wall on the back stretch. That would cost him and his team a number of laps, but he would remain in the race. The close of the first stage, Kyle Busch racing in the number seven makes his move and passes Eckes as he goes on to take the green and white checker after the first 65 laps. The status quo was maintained for nearly all of stage two. Bush swept the stages, taking another flag. He wins the race off pit road to boot, remaining in front of the field. At the start of stage three, a big one on the back stretch as Ty Majeski slips and gets into Tyler Ankrum and collects some damage behind him as Eckes would pull out into the lead. He and Bush battling late in the final stage, and there's going to be one final push with 25 laps to go off the final caution, but Eckes holds off the field as he claims his first victory at the world's fastest half mile. It does a lot. It just kind of kickstarts everything. Um, starts everything. I feel like a season sometimes doesn't start until you win uh, to a certain extent. So it just makes it easier from here on out. Not that it's easy at all, but uh, just kind of makes it easier on us. You know, that we've won, we can do this and we have the confidence that we can continue to do that. Yeah, Kenny, it was Eckes' first career victory here at Bristol Motor Speedway. He gets to go home and add that sword to his collection. It wasn't the only racing that was happening here today. As we mentioned, the Weather Guard Truck Race starting things off. The Food City 500 will close things down tomorrow afternoon. We had qualifying here at the world's fastest half mile. It was another quick round of qualifying. Very competitive with last fall's winner Denny Hamlin making the final cut at the top 10, but he wasn't able to quite take the pole position. A cool moment here for Cup Series rookie Josh Berry, though, as he qualified second on the day, and he will make his first front row start here at Bristol Motor Speedway. The victory, however, went to number 12 of Ryan Blaney. It's his 10th pole of his career and his first here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Pretty challenging day um, I think for everybody just kind of figuring out what the track was doing what this tire was doing and you know where your car needs to get better it was it was pretty pretty challenging which was fun like that's that's kind of neat when we're guessing and things like that and especially qualifying was really interesting because like first round I had you know tons of grip everybody did but it was still tricky like you had people missing the bottom and going for it and slipping out of it and it was a narrow strip you had to hit Yeah, he went on to say that that grip was way less, Kenny, on that second run, and so they're really going to be thoughtful about picking which line to start on last time, uh, excuse me, uh, on Sunday afternoon when they start from that pole position. They were watching that truck race very closely tonight as well to try and get a gauge of just how this racetrack is going to respond to these tires. And uh, that's going to do it here for Bristol Motor Speedway. Of course, Food City 500 green flag going to drop here on Sunday at 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. For now, we'll send things back to you in the studio. Kenny?